Well, I think it's because my own opinion is comedy is the last passion of free speech. You get to see on stage at a comedy club someone calling a spade a spade, not any network censorship. You know, this is what's good. I'm not saying it's all like that by any stretch of the imagination. You get your share of hacks, of course, in any booming business, you're going to get the, the leeches and bootlickers, you know. But uh, for me, it is something you go to see where you see you can't see anywhere else. Not even when you see a comic on television can you see a re uh, him really do his stuff. You don't ever see Richard Pryor on network TV doing his stand-up act. Now, if you come into a club, you can see a guy with no holds barred doing anything, you know, and a lot of people abuse that and they do all dirty jokes or the people come to see dirty jokes, I don't really believe that, but when it's good, you get to see people, uh, freedom of speech, different ideas, different opinions, and done humorously. No, I don't believe that, it's a myth. I think the world is... Well, yeah, but who, who didn't? Who didn't have a trouble background? You know, anybody who didn't is a fucking liar. Excuse me, I can't say that on TV, but I've been a liar. I'll say it again. No, I, I, I used to think that. I did. I thought, because the Woody Allen episode of Paris Dead, you know, but it occurred to me finally that actually the world is very screwed up. People need comedians to set it right, you know. It's kind of like I heard a good uh, description of humor. It reframes reality in a positive light. So I think comics are really kind of doorways to a, a different understanding of a very, very mixed up and very depressing world. <laughs>